My little princess is just falling asleep. So I'm going to use the opportunity to get some cleaning done. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I clean my washing machine. I'm going to start by getting my dettol. Then I'm just going to give it a quick spray. I'm then going to get a microfiber cloth and just give it all a quick wipe down the best I can. And then once you've done wiping it down, you're just going to fill this drawer here. What you can see all the build up inside. We're going to take that out. We're going to put it into the sink. So I'll just quickly put your drawer in the sink. And then just give it a quick spray and let it soak in. I'm using the pink stuff of a Miracle Bathroom Foam Cleaner. I know that it's bathroom cleaner, but it's really good for removing all the little build up in the conditioner tray. Now I'm turning my attention to the inside of the drawer, which I'm going to use Star Drops White Vinegar for to remove any bad stuff to get it clean. A little good spray. Got my microfiber cloth to give it all a good wipe inside. Try getting there the best you can. Uh, if you do have a bit more build up, it is better to use a toothbrush. It's not that bad. There we go. So this, I'm going to take this out. Turn my hot pot on. And then I have a toothbrush here. Two new toothbrush. Obviously, I do only have one hand because I've got a broken wrist. So, you'll find it a lot easier to get into all the little gaps and spaces. I'm just going to get the pen under the sofa and things. Like I can't wait to take the cast off on the front of the be able to do everything normally again. Hope well, for my videos will get a bit better. ready to go back into my chair. To clean this little rubber bit here, because sometimes stuff can get built up inside it. It's not that bad at the minute. But to clean this little rubber bit here, I use my bathroom spray, spray again, because like I say, it's good at removing the build up better. Give it a nice little spray around. Not too much. Give it all a good wipe. Cleaning this bit definitely helps prevent your washing machine from spilling. You should always try open your door straight away after you've done your washing and get your washing straight out because as soon as it's left in for a period of time, you do get that smell. So by doing this at least once a month, hopefully you manage to avoid that happening.
No, I'm gonna get my wire up the nigger. And give it a little spray inside on that back of the drum. And I know white vinegar doesn't smell very nice, but I promise you washing don't come out smelling like white vinegar. It just cleans it nicely. And it removes any bad odour as well, it's very really dear over the eyes. I don't think I said that right. The inside of the door. Again, I'll just use a little bit of white vinegar. Oh, no, they smashed it. Nice wipe done. I'm just gonna do the same with a glass at this side because the white vinegar helps remove any marks. It's a great window cleaner. I think it's better than any window cleaner you can buy, to be honest. Doing windows, white vinegar is definitely the one. soda crystals here. I'm going to add two caps this size into my washing machine. I'm going to put a bit of white vinegar into the tray and then I'm going to be putting it on white and pre temperature selection. Nine spin speed. 1,400 2 hours and 11 minutes Shut your off. Put your tray back in. There we go. We've got a little spray inside with the white vinegar. Tiny spray, not much. And now we'll be just here. And now when it's finished, I'll just open the door, give it a little wipe inside with a towel to dry it out. And then that's it. That's how I clean my washing machine. I hope you enjoyed watching, people. Thank you. Please subscribe if you enjoy.